the rivalry between Arjun Arigasi and Levon Aronian is well known to the chess world now. There they are joking with each other because the game has not started. Once the game will begin, they will be at each other's throats. This is the blitz playoff at the Tata Steel Chess India. Both of them have tied for 11 and half out of 18 at the blitz event. And now it's a 3 plus 2 minute 3 minutes plus 2 second increment playoff of 2 games and the one who wins it will be the champion. In case of 1-1 one, one tie, we go into the Armageddon. A fist bump and the game begins. Aronian opens with e4, Arjun goes for e5. We have the Petrov on the board. Levon takes the pawn on e5, d6, knight goes back, knight takes on e4, d4, d5, bishop to d3, bishop d6. And both sides castle. This is such a main position in the Petrov. And both the players are well aware of the theoretical nuances. Levon goes for queen b3 line, hitting the b7 pawn. Queen d7, c5. A small hesitation there by Arjun because last time they played, Levon had gone bishop e3 in this position. So it's a small improvement by Levon. Now notice you can't take the pawn on b7 because bishop takes h2 and the queen would be hanging. So knight bd2 has been played putting more pressure on e4. And Arjun instead of defending e4 has moved his bishop away. What's the plan? Well if you take on e4 then after d4 your queen would be hanging. So that's the reason why you can't yet take on e4. So knight f1 played by Levon. And now Arjun here goes knight to a6. He's developed his knight. Well, Levon should try and move his queen away from b3, but he first goes knight g3. A good idea can be rook a8, just bringing the rook to the center of the board. But Arjun is tempted by this bishop a5 move. Hitting the rook, Levon comes up a bit ahead on the board. And now... If he just plays rook e2, it looks like he has a great position here because what is the bishop doing on a5? It's actually just hitting the rook but if the rook moves like what Levon does, it's not doing much. And now rook a8 played. Bishop f4 could be a good idea to continue developing and also looking at these dark squares in the black camp. I think Levon is not happy with the fact that after he takes on e4, every time his queen is hanging. So first, he puts his knight on e5, attacks the queen on d7. Arjun has to move his queen now, but where? He plays queen c8, which is the only logical move in the position. If he had played his queen to c7, that would have blocked his bishop's path back. Also, bishop f4 could have become dangerous. So queen c8 and now Levon needs to decide what to do next. Moving the queen seems like a good idea. and But where? Do you move it to a3? Maybe that's a useful square to go to so that later on the queen also keeps an eye on the third rank. Or do you move it to a4? He chooses queen a4. And now Arjun has to decide. Does he move his bishop back? Or does he move his knight first like knight g3? at g3 and play this position but you know guys last thing that Arjun wants to do in this position is take here because then this bishop opens up the rook is well positioned and this is not something that he wants to achieve so that's Arjun thinking here he goes bishop to c7 back and Levon, I think, is in a very critical moment here. He has 1 minute 44 seconds on the clock. He can take on e4. That's one. He can take with the knight. He can take with the bishop. These are the two options. There's also bishop takes a6, taking that knight. So a lot of options here. And Levon taking his time. But guys, it's only a three minute game. You can't be thinking so much. In the background, you can see the entire crowd riveted to their chairs. Looking at the game, will Arjun win this game and become the champion in Blitz as well? Or will Levon take this title, Bishop e4 played? 
and Arjun takes back 94. This was somehow not a very wise decision by Levon because it gives Arjun a beautiful bishop that can sit on d5. And already black's position looks much more attractive than white's. So Arjun plays his bishop to d5 and now Levon is down to a minute and 10 seconds. We can't see Arjun's time yet, but definitely he has more time than Levon. What do you do with your knight now? Because if you move your knight away, then there are f6 ideas in the position. Also, knight d6 would be very prudent because in that way, you at least get rid of this c7 bishop, which is a powerhouse in black's camp. But Levon has to make a quick decision here. He has only 40 seconds left. And we are just at move number 19. Low on time, position also bad. It seems like Arjun's going to take this one home. Knight to c3 and now f6 would have been an excellent move with queen g4 incoming. But Arjun takes on c5 and Levon is not happy. He thinks he has blundered. If you take on c5, then e5 is hanging, but Levon finds a good move. He takes on a7. This is the best move in the position. Now, the knight is hanging on c5. He wants to threaten queen takes c5 here. How does Arjun deal with it? Knight e6 seems like a good move, keeping pressure on the d4 point. And Arjun, what, what is he going to do here? Well, Arjun has one minute, one second. He's now down to a minute on the clock, but he still has 30 seconds more than Levon. Takes on e5. And now Levon seems to have a good position because after d takes e5, the c5 knight is hanging. Oh, but Arjun moves in. He wants to mate here. f3 played, which is a mistake. He had to play f4. And the rook would have defended here because now Arjun can actually take on f3 with his bishop. He's just making sure that he's calculated everything. Bishop takes f3, rook f2. And now what does Arjun do? Because now his bishop is hanging and also his knight. So he has to tread carefully here. But what about rook takes e5? And Arjun plays it. Wow. The bishop is hanging and there you see Aronian acknowledging that move with a head shake. He's like, that's a good move, Arjun, because now if rook takes f3, Arjun has all sorts of threats. Rook e1, queen d4, but Levon has no choice. He takes it. Arjun gives a check, king f1. Now, here is where Arjun could have won the game. He can go rook f e8, but he goes queen c4, check, king f2, checks again, king f1. And this is the variation. If you go rook f e8, bishop f4, knight d3, queen takes d4, rook e1, mate. And I think Arjun has spotted something on these lines, but I guess what he does not like is rook takes d3, queen e7 and bishop e5. Maybe something here, but there is queen d3. I'm not sure. What is it? Maybe it's bishop e5, but he plays queen c4, king f2, queen h4 now. Seems like a good move and he plays it. He plays it. He plays queen to h4. Arjun still winning in this position. You can't go to f1 because there's a mate. He goes to g1 check. Rook goes back. Queen d4. And Levon has to give up that bishop. Otherwise, he would have been back rank mated. The net result of all of this is that black is now a pawn up. But it's only a pawn. However, it's also the centralized nature of the black pieces which gives black a very big advantage. But both sides hardly have time. Arjun has only 4 seconds on the clock. Levon has 17. Knight moves to e4. And now Levon, does he trade? He trades. He trades and they go into a rook end game. Generally, a pawn up position in the rook end game is not enough. But here Arjun has fixed white pawns. He has everything going for him. His pawns are mobile. His king is coming up. And it seems very difficult for the Armenian GM to save this. He goes rook d7, king f6. And rook to c7, he goes king here, king f2, pawn to f6. King e3, rook e5 check. And Aronian seems to have defended this. He looks confident. 
Arjun has 9 seconds on the clock. Levon has 13 seconds. He plays king to f3. Rook b6. Rook to f7. And now rook a6. He takes. Check. King here. King f4. And now an important move is rook c3. But Arjun checks king g1. And you can't go king g3 because of rook d3 check. So you have to come back. And this does not seem like it's winning anymore. Levon really creating hurdles in the path of Arjun. And that's the thing about these top players. They never give you the points easily. They make you struggle till the very end. And I think that's where Arjun has faltered. He's trying still to bring his king to the B pawn, but Levon is now going to pick up the F pawn. Yes, he does. And the G pawn is weak. And now Rook F5 check. There you see Levon taking his time because he knows that the draw is within his grasp. Rook at 6. And King E3. That's a good decision by Levon moving his king so that the C pawn can be stopped here. g3 i think you can just arjun first goes for a check king c1 and we are very soon going to get the philidor position on the board takes rook takes h3 and levon goes back to g2 and this seems like a draw now rook h3 rook p3 check king c2 c3 and there you have rook b2 check a stalemate on the board a nice rook sacrifice applause from the crowd what a game this was arjun was completely winning at some point and we leave you with the analysis of these two players